All right, are we rolling? All right, great. All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing a mod review for our year one SEM one. What else are doing? Yeah, okay, so basically, um, I took five mods this SEM. I took IS1103, I took MA2001, I took CS1010S, and BT1101, and also Luck GEC1000. The legend mod. Legendary mod. And today I have with me uh, Amiru here. Uh, He'll be sharing his experience. Uh, let's start with Luck. Uh. Let's start with Luck. GE mod. What are your opinions? Very interesting mod with one of the most interesting professors I've seen. Yeah, I love him. Uh, Giorgio. Giorgio, Giorgio. Oh, Giorgio. Mm -hmm. He's a solid guy, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll, I'll give this mod a good 8 out of 10. Yeah, 10. I yeah. agree. It was quite enjoyable. Yeah. Very yeah. enjoyable. Teach you a lot of things that you don't typically think of, but like, once you do, changes your perspective on pretty much about everything. I feel like quite a low workload mod. Relatively. Relatively low workload, and then it's, it's, it's quite okay to understand. Like, I, I won't say it's like mind bending concepts, but mm. uh, it's quite interesting concepts, uh, something that you wouldn't think of usually. Yeah. yeah. You hit things like um, about determinism, you hit things about um, whether you have like free will, yep. free will, and like quite abstract concepts, which is like really yeah. quite interesting. So if you're thinking that it's like some kind of statistics style mod, oh, because it's love, or it's not, it's not. It's, not. I'll, I'll, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with like. Yeah, nothing to do with statistics it's, whatsoever. Yeah. So uh, we have right here like a CS god that takes stats. <laughs> Exposure. Just the camera. Oh, should be fine. Like. I think okay. she'll be fine. Yeah. So, um, Chloe over here takes stats and she takes CS10 and S and she's absolutely like a god in it. No, <laughs> that's untrue. <laughs> okay, one word to describe CS10 and S. Um, tragic. Tragic, okay. Why? <laughs> um, because I feel that I could have done better mm. in this mod. Like if I, were, if I, if I were more consist, if I were, if I was, I were more consistent in um, completing the missions by myself. <laughs> <laughs> by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like understanding the concept first, like understanding the concept better before um, doing the higher level missions. Mm. Yeah, I think I would have been better off because the exams are actually not that. Um, Challenging as compared to the missions. Oh yeah, the missions are damn hard. Yeah, like on hindsight, right? The exams are actually doable. It's just that the missions make it a lot harder. Yeah, I'll say like, I I had a had a phobia like halfway through the halfway through the sem, because like the missions were so hard, and then I just got scared looking at it, and then I I gave up my like, midterms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of us gave up quite early on because. Because like, yeah, the missions are very challenging, so I thought I wasn't able to do it. So I was like, Aya, since can SU this mod. <laughs> <laughs> but if I didn't give up that early, I feel like it's okay. It's actually, yeah, manageable. Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid of the missions and the side quests. Tell us about the workload. How uh, intense is the workload? Because people online <laughs> be saying, right, it's a 8MC mod, like this guy's a 4MC mod. Yeah, like, I definitely agree with that. Literally everybody who takes 1010S says that it feels like the only mod they are taking is 1010S because we all spend 90% of our time on this mod. Yeah, yeah because like, not only are there a lot of missions, the deadline between each mission is not really a lot. Oh like, my god. Yeah, it's quite packed actually. And it already takes up a lot of our time to complete one mission. And sure. it just keeps on coming, one after another. Yeah, I, I, I quite like the structure for like this mod. Like, I think I thought it was quite structured. Except mm. the part where like you know they teach very easy to understand concepts but Yeah. But then bro the, the missions are so hard. It's like a whole leap of like Yeah, it feels like whatever I'm whatever I listen during lecture is different from whatever I'm seeing in yeah. the missions. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah. Because it's quite daunting actually. To like see completely different things. Then it just made me Want to give up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, one more question, alright. Do you need to have experience to take CS10 and S? Yes. I feel like you can still do it without experience, but it's definitely um, a huge advantage if you have prior, prior knowledge about Python and the concepts behind 
coding. Yeah, it will definitely help you um, with this entire mod in general. Yeah, I wish I wish I knew earlier, you know, like coding and Python. Yeah. Because like, yeah, it will help. It will help quite a bit. I was like, them lost like like. Mm-hmm. Even at the start, you know, recursion iteration. Bro. Yeah, in the beginning, I kept asking about recursion iteration because it just didn't, I don't know, didn't make sense. To yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. So whoever's saying like you don't need coding experience beforehand, you know, they are lying. Just just learn beforehand. Yeah, you know, if you have time, learn. if you have time to learn, you should definitely learn because yeah. it's very beneficial. Do you have any like comments for CSNS? Just Five don't comments. give up and push through, like grind through CS ten ten S. It's actually doable. Damn. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Bye. All right. We are back with another B Zack A kid here. All right. Tell us your opinion. We we'll start with B T one one zero. What do you think of it? Workload wise. I think, I think you learn many things in a short time. Yeah. But it's very useful. It's very very useful. It's like the foundation of your business analytics life. You know. So like. How does it compare like BT1101 as compared to like CS10S? CS10S is just coding, basically you just learn Python. So if you know Python already, right? If you think CS10S, right? You're, you're just there to, to, to have fun. Oh, have fun. Yeah, I mean, you, you're going to score for everything, but if you know Python already, it's the basic to teach you the basics of Python. But if you don't know Python, you're going to struggle a lot, like us. Yeah. So, so learn your Python. Before coming to uni. Yes, if you're taking me that day. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I struggle a lot. Uh. I know, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible, it was a horrible experience. So, which one is harder? I'll say 10 10s. 10 10s? Yeah, 10 10s. Yeah. Because there's so much things to do, there's no stop missions. So when you finish one mission, five missions come out. Yeah. Like, great. And yeah. then you take like hours just to do one mission, hours or even days sometimes. Oh, well, maybe. When you get stuck, right? So when you get stuck, you're really thing. stuck, you know. But BT on us is much more manageable in the sense that you know they, they provide you with like the, the framework, the code, so you can you can, you can build off that. Before you know it, really at the end of the same why just then then S. Then then S, yeah. Then then S. It's not about like you know it's not about like you know they have this saying where like you know the more you have fun, the more time passes faster, right? No, that's not uh, but the more you cook Python, the more time passes. Yeah, you know it just occupies all your time, it just takes all your time yeah. before you know it, end of the end of the sem really. Derek, tell me about your opinion for IS1103. Hot garbage. Why? Okay, yeah, well, what do you learn? What I learn? Yeah. Uh, no, you can't always think about your own perspective. Okay. You think from a wide perspective, you know, Okay. Like, you can see things from wide perspective. Okay. Wait, what, what do you mean wide perspective? Uh, what you think of something may not be what the general consensus do you have any tips for um, the people taking this mod? Hey, yes. Uh, just go in with an open mind, man. Say again? Go in with an open mind. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for participating in my interview. What do you think of IS1103? I feel like the new, the new, the new way where they do it is 10 10 for 10 feature. Right? It's much better than the previous one really did it. Yeah, so it's, Less time consuming. Talk to the professor. The guy is really funny. Talk to him. You talk to him? Yeah, I had a, I had a Zoom lecture with him. Oh. Yeah, like, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's really angry, like, shouting at you all the time. Like, no, no, no. But after that, he's like, he really explained it to you. Oh. That's quite funny, you know. <laughs> Bill, he's like, you I'm not. Okay, tell us about your MA2001 experience. Uh, for 2001, I think that it's a bit uh, of a heavy workload. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the lectures every week are a bit much. Uh-huh. Because like, on top of like the pre-recorded lectures that you have to watch, yeah. there's also like the live lecture that you have also have to watch. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so there's like, quite a lot of content every week that we come on. Yeah. So, do you actually watch the live lectures? Of oh, course, I go for every single lecture. Oh, shit, I actually don't watch the live lectures. <laughs> Oh, yeah. actually I don't go for a lecture, I just watch a free recorder of Shit, I actually don't even watch a free recorder of the What the hell? Rank MA201, BT and CS. Like in terms of what? Like in terms of like how hard. Well, I don't think all of them are damn hard. In terms of workload, CS. Hardest, like hardest. Hardest, then 201, then BT. Uh, yeah. 
But in terms of finals, right? I think BT is the hardest. Then oh my god. Then CS still <laughs> manageable. Right, it's like the hardest paper I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Okay, but you're so dramatic. Oh, <laughs> so that's true, that's true. And math was just like, I didn't understand anything. Before the start? Yeah. <laughs> math was just hard all the way. Now that I think about it, mm. I think um, 201 workload is just too much. Oh, but the good thing about 201 is that the tutorials are not like, don't actually have to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. So it kind of reduces the world a bit, like, you're like, struggling. Yeah, it's just that there's a lot of content. That's the main problem. Yeah. You use math, eh? Oh yes, Matlab! <laughs> oh shit, I should walk my Matlab yeah. shirt! Oh my god! Oh. Quick summary of the mods covered. GEC1028 is a very fun mod to take to challenge your understanding and stress the importance of luck in your everyday life. IS1103 is a very simple mod that you have to answer 10 MCQ questions a week for 10 weeks based on the textbook that are highly subjective based on the professor's answers. MA2001 is about linear algebra. The core concept for science such as physics, math and also coding. Although I don't see the full picture in coding yet. So you have to pay very close attention to this because it's very conceptual and you have to see the picture. If not, you have to just keep trying to understand via like different avenues such as YouTube and like just keep asking your friends and the professors, you know helps a lot. There's also BT1101, a lot of introductory ideas and hand-holding for the code. Um, a true taster of what business analytics is. Finals is damn hard, right? Like, I screwed up my finals. But I believe it's because every SEM, the professor changes. So there's a, it's, it's quite hard for this to nail down the standard. Oh baby, CS1010S. Okay, where do I begin? Uh? Do not ever give up, right? Also, know when to give up. I will know when to stop hitting your head against the wall because the code won't come. One thing I learned, you should always take a break uh, and come back to the question because the, the, the answer will come to you. Also, please ask any and everybody for help. So I, I feel it's very doable, it's very grindable. Probably a precursor to every other CS mod you're gonna take, 2013 and 2040. So um, I'm gonna be in for a ride, but this is a wake up call. It's very important. This mod is very important. Also, uh, before you come to uni, please have enough coding experience because if not, you'll die. Genuinely, those people that say you don't have coding experience, they are, they are liars, right? Don't trust them. So I, I hope this video helps whoever is out there who needs this video. This is for you. Um, yeah. Have a great one. I get to this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>